अपनी खोपत अपनी जान जाग रहा है पाकिस्तान खातिनो हजरा इसको जोश भर पर मार्च करते हुए परेड कुछ ही देर में आपके सामने से परेड ग्राउंड में दाखिल होगी
Ladies and gentlemen, today's parade is being commanded by Aviation Cadet Academy Under Officer Muhammad Faris Jahangiri. Formed up in front of you are the four squadrons of the Academy. Number one wing constitutes number one and number two squadrons, which is being led by Aviation Cadet Wing Under Officer Sufyan Siddiq. Aviation Cadet Squadron Under Officer Mohammad Faizan Al Taab is commanding number one squadron, whereas number two squadron is under the command of Aviation Cadet Squadron Under Officer Fashad Khan. Number two wing comprises number three and number four squadrons. The command of number two wing is with Aviation Cadet Wing Under Officer Sayyid Parjad Fazi. Aviation Cadet Squadron Under Officer Nayyar Ashfaq is commanding number three squadron. Whereas number four squadron is under the command of Aviation Cadet Squadron Under Officer Anas Mustafa. Ladies and gentlemen, the other party is being commanded by Aviation Cadet Umas Shafi, who is holding the national standard. <coughs> Aviation Cadet Mansab Ali Bajan is carrying the PF color, while Aviation Cadet Tabi Dali is bearing the Kadi Azam banner. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Anthem of Islamic Republic of Pakistan.
squad. The Kalyas of Banner carries historical significance. It was awarded to this academy on 30th April 1948.
Chief of the Year Staff Trophy for overall best performance and 101st Air Defense Force is awarded to Aviation Cadet Sergeant Hanzara Moin Khan. Chief of the Air Staff Trophy for Best Performance in Engineering Discipline has been won by Aviation Cadet Sergeant Muhammad Afiq. Chief of the Air Staff, Best Pilot Trophy for outstanding performance in flying training has been won by Aviation Cadet Sergeant Abdul Rahman. Sword of Honor for overall best performance and College of Flying Training goes to Aviation Cadet Squadron Under Officer Aras Mustafa. Ladies and gentlemen, now the oath will be administered to the graduating cadets. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mag. Mag al-Jinnat. Sir ke dil se. Sir ke dil se. Allah Taala ko hazir aur nazar jaan kar. Allah Taala ko hazir aur nazar jaan kar. Hal purhata hu. Hal purhata hu. Ke mag khulu se niyat se. Ke mag khulu se niyat se. Pakistan ka hami. Pakistan ka hami. Aur khafadar rahunga. Aur khafadar rahunga. और इस्लामी जमहूरिया पाकिस्तान के और इस्लामी जमहूरिया पाकिस्तान के आयन की आयन की हिमायत करूंगा हिमायत करूंगा जो आवाम की जो आवाम की ख्वाहिशात का मजहर है ख्वाहिशात का मजहर है और ये कि मैं और ये कि मैं अपने आप को अपने आप को किसी भी किस्म की किसी भी किस्म की सियासी सरगर्मियों में सियासी सरगर्मियों में शरीक नहीं करूंगा शरीक नहीं करूंगा और ये कि मैं और ये कि मैं पाक फिजाइयों में रहकर पाक फिजाइयों में रहकर पाकिस्तान की खिदमत पाकिस्तान की खिदमत ईमानदारी ईमानदारी और वफादारी के साथ और वफादारी के साथ अंजाम दूंगा अंजाम दूंगा और ये कि मैं और ये कि मैं भरी भरी पहरी पहरी या फिजाई रास्ते से या फिजाई रास्ते से जहां भी जाने का हुक्म मिला जहां भी जाने का हुक्म मिला जाऊंगा जाऊंगा और ये कि मैं और ये कि मैं अपने मुतयन अफसरान के अपने मुतयन अफसरान के कानून के मुताबिक दिए गए कानून के मुताबिक दिए गए तमाम अहकाम की तामीर तमाम अहकाम की तामीर अपनी जान को दरपेश अपनी जान को दरपेश खतरात से खतरात से बेनियाज होकर करूंगा बेनियाज होकर करूंगा अल्लाह मेरा हामी और आसर हो अल्लाह मेरा हामी और आसर हो Amin. Amin. May I request the Honorable Chief Guest, Air Chief Marshal Zaheer Ahmed Babar Sidhu, Nishan Imtiaz Military, Chief of the Air Staff, Pakistan Air Force, to kindly address the parade. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Principal Staff Officers, Chief 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 Offic
graduating cadets, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am pleased to attend graduation grade of 145th GDP, 91st Engineering and 101 in defense courses. On this happy occasion, I congratulate the graduating cadets, distinction holders, winner of sword of honors, their parents and family members. Also, I offer special compliments to Royal Saudi Air Force cadets and their families on their graduation. Indeed, the presence of Saudi cadets at the Academy is a symbol of strong friendship and cooperation between our great nations and their armed forces. I also appreciate AOC, PF Academy Asar Khan and his team for ensuring timely graduation of the courses despite the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. Dear graduating careers, remember today is the beginning of your journey in PF as an officer. You have been trained well at this leading Air Force Academy and I'm sure you will overcome future challenges with full commitment and dedication. The paradigm shift in training through the Activation Training Program must have enabled you to further your academic and professional pursuit more aggressively. Indeed, you carry the hopes of country and this nation on your young shoulders. Therefore, you must work hard to keep abreast of latest development in technology, modern concept, and current trends related to the role of air power in modern warfare. You should also seek inspiration from the legacy of our forefathers, who despite tough challenges, kept Pakistan Air Force flag high. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a challenging times in the wake of evolving global and regional environment. Be it known that Pakistan is a peace-loving nation and wishes to maintain friendly ties with all countries, especially our neighbors. However, our desire for peace must not be misunderstood as weakness. Let me make it clear that there can never be a peace without just settlement of Kashmir issue. We condemn the grave human rights violation in ill occupied Jammu and Kashmir. I urge the international community to play their role in ending human rights violation and atrocities in occupied Jammu and Kashmir. We also believe that the peace and stability in Afghanistan is imperative not only for the progress of Pakistan but for the entire region. Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan sacrifices and effort for peace in the region speak for themselves. While we would not like to indulge in an armed race, the armed forces of Pakistan continue to enhance their capability to deter any aggression. Ladies and gentlemen, technology is fast transforming the battlefield of tomorrow. As an Air Force, our prime focus remains on modernization as we adopt and operationalize new technologies while enhancing our human source development parameters. While being fully aware of non-contact warfare paradigm, Pakistan Air Force tried to maintain this punch through smart detection program of cutting edge niche technologies, collaboration with friendly countries and indigenization programs. We have continues to harness new technologies like stand of weapons, position manusian, electronic warfare, unmanned aerial system, artificial intelligence, and other latest development. Alhamdulillah, we have made good progress in enhancing our capability in space and cyber domains, in line with the decades of modern non-content warfare parameters. Ladies and gentlemen, air power is greatly affected by technology and absorption of technology comes with training. We have retained focus on absorption of these technologies through focus training and human resource development parameters. In this regard, the next generation training program has created restructuring that of training institutions and academies have been launched very aggressively. In line with the wide, with wide vision of self-reliance, we have embarked on Aerospace Industry and Indigenization Program in early 70s with Pakistan Aeronautical Complex 
as it was our frustration. To get to find any challenge, we continue to harness our aerospace industry for achieving vital self-reliance through indigenization programs. In the wake of PF requirements for the defense of our motherland, in the first evolving global scenario, Pakistan aerospace industry has been revitalized in line with the triple helix model. Major strides have been made in enhancing aerospace industry, academia, and government linkages through wider research and development programs, maintaining close control through out the box strategies. Ladies and gentlemen, PF has a legacy to fight out of number. In order to address contemporary and future challenges, PF has undertaken strategic restructuring of its operational, training, engineering, administrative, and research and development setup. As we pursue modernization through smart induction and indigenization, our focus remains on aggressive training programs. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the path to be next generation Air Force, inshallah. I am proud that the armed forces of Pakistan are professionally competent, well trained to cope with all internal and external challenges. Our brave air warriors have always displayed great courage during testing time and upheld guide visions of Pakistan Air Force being second to none. Pakistan Air Force puts a high premium on quality training. We are equipped and trained in line with the decades of modern warfare ready to face any challenge. I assure you that PF is very well poised to preserve our freedom at all costs. I am confident that Pakistan Air Force will scale new heights of glory in times ahead. In the end, I once again congratulate the graduating cadets I wish you Godspeed in your future endeavors. I am also grateful to the distinguished guests for their presence on the occasion. May Allah Almighty grant us, grant us strength and vision to discharge our responsibility in line with the finest tradition of service. Ameen. Pakistan Air Force, Zindabad, Pakistan, Pahindabad.
Ladies and gentlemen, you will now witness continuity drill by Hamza Fly. This flight is named after Hazrat Amir Hamza, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, one of the companions and beloved uncle of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is a unique way of cadets to pay homage to one of the great commanders of the Islamic history. It is noteworthy to mention that Hamza flight also includes Royal Saudi Air Force cadets, gentlemen cadets, naval cadets and lady cadets in its ranks. خواتین و حضرات ہم سب فلائٹ کے اس مظاہرے کے دوران خالی کارتوس فائر کیے جائیں گے آپ سے التماس ہے ان آوازوں سے ہرگز پریشان نہ ہوں ہم سب فلائٹ کے اس مظاہرے کے دوران خالی کارتوس فائر کیے جائیں گے آپ سے التماس ہے ان آوازوں سے ہرگز پریشان نہ ہوں ہم سب فلائٹ کے اس مظاہرے کے دوران خالی کارتوس فائر کیے جائیں گے
Sparta Athens will be coming in for Elrond Roll, or back Danny Taylor. And number 5, Sparta Abdul Rehman, formatting on the left wing, number 3, Sparta Sadaam Badwa. And number 6, Sparta Tawan Kakar, while formatting in the spot position, number 4, Sparta Junaid. Following this, number 7 will switch box and reverse its direction towards the day. Gain speed in excess of 800 km per hour and perform a 6G pullout from the dive. 